A lot of people have been a bit shocked by just how heavy BYD's new electric car is, but keep in mind, it's very big. That said, yes, it does weigh a pretty staggering 2,785 kilograms, which is 6,340 pounds. But even though it's 200 kilograms or 440 pounds heavier than a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, personally, I'd prefer the BYD over the Rolls-Royce, and I'm being serious. I mean, this thing has three motors. It's got a staggering 952 horsepower. And yeah, I mean, this is just seriously, it's a legit luxury car. In total, this vehicle has three electric motors. And of course, that's gonna to add to the weight a little bit. Each motor delivers around about 240 kilowatt. Now the front motor delivers 230 kilowatt, which is 308 horsepower. At the rear, two motors, both have 322 horsepower each or 240 kilowatt each. That's a total power of 710 kilowatt, 952 horsepower. Wow. BYD's latest electric car, which is set to take on Porsche, and I'm not joking, that's seriously what BYD are aiming for, is meant to be a collaboration between BYD and Mercedes. It's not really, it's actually just a BYD, but it's absolutely unbelievably awesome. In fact, this could be one of the most iconic electric cars ever made. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel, I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, it's great to see you. Now guys, this new electric car from BYD is utterly unreal. I love it. It is my favorite EV that BYD have launched so far. Now we don't know all the details, but we do know that the Denza Z9 GT is basically a shooting brake. It's a wagon coupe type car. It's launched to take on cars like the Ferrari GTC Lusso, uh, which is a v12 it's sort of a similar shape to that car or the porsche panamera and to be honest i'd prefer the bod over either of those cars that probably sounds ridiculous but when you hear the specs the features you see how good looking uh, and really truly sexy this car is well it's damn impressive bod have a 90 percent ownership of this joint venture brand denza right mercedes used to own 50 percent. that was when the car brand was basically uh, dead. Denza was pretty much dead. BYD went, you know what? We want to do something with this brand. They bought out the majority of Mercedes ownership. So now Mercedes owned 10%. And when that happened, BYD began working seriously on making new models. They've already released the new Denza N7, which is unreal. It has the ability to charge two, ba it's two battery packs. It can charge both of them at the same time. So that means the charging speeds are doubled for the N7. Now the joint venture between Mercedes and BYD, which to be honest, it's just BYD doing this with a bit of money coming in from Mercedes-Benz, has just revealed this new Denza Z9 GT. Now it's gonna come out later on this year. And you can see from these official photos of the car, well, spy shots of the car, not really spy shots, BYD have no, made no secret of hiding it, show how incredibly, well, to be honest, how incredibly sexy this vehicle looks. It just looks sensational. I think they've done a great job, the designers of this car. Now we know that it's very likely to get the same uh, technology as the new Denza N7. What's that? Well, two blade battery packs stacked on top of each other. Um, essentially, they can both charge at the same time. So what that means is you're getting double the charging speeds. Now in the N7, that enables charging speed of 360 kilowatt. 360 kilowatt, it's not revolutionary, but it's pretty damn good because you're gonna get really quick charging of that entire battery pack. You're gonna hold on to average speeds. You might be seeing average speeds of say, potentially 120 kilowatt per pack, meaning average charging of around 240 kilowatt. That's gonna provide this vehicle with some fa very fast charging speeds. Plus, it's very likely to get BYD's new blade battery. The new blade battery is much better than the previous version. It's got higher energy density. In fact, the energy density has increased by 27% to 190 kilowatt per kilo. Now, that's pretty good. 27% improvement in energy density is gonna mean this vehicle likely will get upwards of around 800 to 900 kilometers real world range. So you're looking at probably, you know, 550 miles of real world range. 
In a vehicle that looks sensational, what about the performance? Well, we don't know exactly what the performance is going to be yet, but it's rumored that BYD are going after Tesla's ludicrous performance. They're hoping to hit 1,000 horsepower with this vehicle. Could they do that? Absolutely. They just revealed their new supercar, which has actually more than 1,000 horsepower, but it's very, very heavy. So, you know, performance of that supercar is, is kind of dulled a little bit by the fact that it weighs about 5,700 pounds. This vehicle is probably going to be a similar weight. It's not, it's not small, but I don't think people care. This is a GT. This is a vehicle that's going to compete with other relatively heavy cars. The Porsche Panamera is not light. Neither is the Ferrari GTC Lusso. Guys, what are your thoughts on this new BYD, this new BYD electric car? Do you think BYD will sell these? I mean, outside of China. Personally, I've got to admit, I would love one, but I, would I be willing to pay the asking price which is expected to be upwards of 120,000 US dollars? Probably not, but I wouldn't pay that much for any car. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.